My name is Dr. Matthew Skinner and I'm a paleoanthropologist from the University of Kent. To celebrate the launch of Extant Season 2 on Sci-Fi, the channel challenged me to think about how the human body might evolve to survive in three different habitat scenarios. The first scenario relates to global warming. We imagine that the ice caps are melting, we see a drastic rise in sea levels, and humans are forced to live in an underwater community. And so what we might see is changes to our body which help us to swim better. For example, we might see a lengthening of our fingers. This might cause us to evolve webbed fingers and toes. Another critical thing that we'll need to do is to be able to see in low light conditions, which we find underwater. And perhaps most striking, we might see something called a nictitating membrane. And this is essentially a third eyelid which helps protect the eye in an underwater environment. Another scenario we considered was the colonization of another planet. The idea of traveling to space has always been something that's fascinated humans. And this is also a theme that has been the part of television programs for many decades. We see the coexistence of humans, alien life, and AI. Something that's central to our survival is food. We might have to take our food in liquid form or in pill form. This would relax the selective pressures on our mouths. And we might see that our jaws get very small and our teeth reduce in size, and we might even have some teeth disappear. Another scenario we looked at was having to survive a second ice age. Essentially, this would be related to a drastic reduction in the amount of sunlight that's reaching the Earth. Things that could cause this are asteroid impacts, increased activity of volcanoes, which throw up thousands of tons of ash into the atmosphere, which stays there for a very long time and causes temperatures around the world to drop significantly. One of the things that's critical to our body's function is the absorbance of vitamin D from the sun's light. In order to increase our ability to absorb vitamin D, we might see our skin become paler, our hair become lighter, but in order to stay warm, we might see an overall increase in hair on our bodies. No matter what scenario we might find ourselves in in the future, whether it's a water world, a second ice age, or colonizing another planet, humans will always try to avoid extinction. Ultimately, it's a fight for survival.